All right. Good morning. It's the 21st of November, and I'm calling Ian, an attorney, who is a referral from Jerry that I met at training for my uh, new job that got rescheduled. We both did not know about it. So here we go. Hi, Ian. My name is Rem Milligan, and I received your uh, number from Jerry. Um, he and I were talking, and I was explaining how I was having trouble finding an attorney to sue the police. The police are not addressing the crime of a federal imposter who came into the neighborhood and told lies. And they continue to uh, deny that the crime ever happened and they are protecting neighbors for um, spreading lies about me. My phone number is 614-506-1924. I'd appreciate a return call and I look forward to speaking with you about this case a little bit more. Thank you very much. Have a great day. My phone number is 614-506-1924. Goodbye. We'll see what happens. All I can do is keep trying. I cannot believe how much trouble I'm having. Um, the police control everything. And I'm concerned with what they could do. Um without any grounds for it, but they could make it up. They've made up all of my experience so far. They've made up the diagnosis and created it by taking me in so many times. Um, uh, I can't believe that my life is like this. Every day. I'm surrounded by people who have ruined my life, and I asked for their help, and they're not willing to do that. I went to the uh, post office this morning to see if the body cam was there of an officer blaming a mental illness for me claiming that Patty committed a federal crime, which was impostering the government and telling lies. So I don't think Patty realizes how close to jail she actually is because of all the things that she's done. I don't know if uh, the imposter has stolen money from her or not. I don't know if he scammed her uh, that way or not. Um, I'm, I'm really unsure. So I tread lightly on supposing things or assuming things because every bit of what I'm telling people is the truth and I'm 100% sure of that. It's not a delusional belief if I can back it up. And that's something that the police is choosing to ignore. They're choosing to ignore the truth and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why they would choose not to help me. But it's a huge problem. There are um, individuals camped out in Bill's yard. And um, 
I said to them this morning, check my medical records. Because in 2017, I had no mental health history. Zero. It did not exist. But Bill told neighbors and Patty in 2018. Bill found out in August 2017 from Delaha, who came up with a plan to get me moved and probably spoke of me having a mental illness. Those two facts prove that my neighborhood has decided to try and set me up to have a mental illness. It's sick, but it is the truth. And Bill... is really mentally ill. This is fun for him. This is his, uh, this is his fun time. Creating a life of misery and pain for me. For having done nothing to him. Except embarrass him when I caught him in my backyard. That is the truth. So, we will see. I hope Ian gets back in touch with me today and soon. Because uh, I need somebody in my corner. Because all my friends have chosen to not be. And in a fight to save my own life and my future, They've completely abandoned me. So I have to rely on neighbors who have harmed me and don't want a good future for me and my captors who are working with the neighbors to try and get me moved. I have to rely on them. And if they don't help me, I'm really on my own because the media is choosing not to help. I have solved some big riddles. Riddles that the government have played against the people for their own selfish gain. Because they are addicts of control. I don't know how much further they plan to go. But I think they've got enough. I'm a very intelligent man. And I don't toot my own horn. But I'm doing it today. And somebody of my brilliance and ability to put pieces together correctly in this huge, huge scam. Because neighbors scammed the police. The plan was, was to get the addict out of the neighborhood. And the way to do that was to perform mental health evaluations. So they participated in it with a motive of getting me to move. It wasn't ever to get me well. Nobody was actually looking out for my best interest. So that truth speaks of a violation of my civil rights, which I've been telling the police for forever, but they're choosing not to address it.
there's a reward, too, for people telling the truth. Because I am. But I'm not believed. And just because other people don't believe me, there are additional people who do not believe me. And they point to, well, everybody else doesn't believe you, so it must not be true. Which is not the truth. I don't know what I'm going to do. But it's really frustrating. We'll see how it goes today. But every day that my story does, my, my story about the neighborhood does not get coverage and is not known is a day that I am at risk of losing my freedom because the government wants to keep r &M secret. That's ridiculous. I don't want to live in fear because it's not comfortable and it's actually causing pain and suffering. It's ridiculous. And people better start believing me because I'm telling the truth. The sooner they do it, the easier things will be. The longer people continue to deny the truth, the worse it's going to get.